Sunday afternoon. I didn't even film signs? Mm. Shit. I'm filming because this is it, dog. Tomorrow morning, then I'm out in San Diego. It's not it. You said you were coming by tomorrow afternoon. Oh, yeah. So Before I go. It's not it. They'll see you on the camera in the morning. Oh, yeah. Not with this haircut, though. That's a haircut? No. Haircut. I just I didn't notice until I looked in the camera. The live action Archie <laughs> there is a live action Archie TV show. Oh, I've been thinking about getting tattooed again. I've just been thinking about it. Right now? Really? In here? Oh god. I don't know if I'm ready. Good morning. It's Monday. Turn is already crazy. Uh, I have the appraiser and the landlord coming. Uh, and also Earn, I believe, is having quite a morning. It sounds like, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but he's flying to San Diego. He's ill-prepared, I will assume. But I've gotten quite a few texts this morning that seem like they are uh, sent with stress. We'll see. I'm just getting up. I'm just getting straightened up before the landlord gets here. Kind of hype because this whole week I get to stay home and work on shit and draw and paint. I'm going to start some paintings this week. Get some shit started. Get some shit finished. Button some things up. Break some things down. Build some shit. You know what I'm saying? No, you don't. But, all right. We'll be back in a second. Oh, shit. Motherfucker. Off to San Diego. First of all, I get a call that one of my websites is like, with like an imperative thing that's supposed to post today isn't working. Then the tire place opens. I knew I've had a slow lead. I'm like, I'm getting it fixed before I leave Brandy. Before I leave Brandy for the week, I get there. This is the best part. The guy goes, I don't know, whoever put on the patch last time, man, pretty shoddy job. They probably shouldn't have patched that one up. How many fucking guys. patches you got, the hula hand? What the fuck? Two different tires. One tire oh, was right. patched. Then I was like, yeah, this tire should never been patched. It's like ripping open you're lucky it didn't just rip off i'd have a word with the people that did it i'm like you guys did it we don't actually have any single tires that we can replace it with we'll throw the donut on there for five bucks for you if you want and then you know you can come back in a few days i'm like i'm leaving my wife with the car i'm not leaving her with a fucking donut hey how about this how about you call my wife and tell her yeah. there's gonna be a donut yeah. on the car for so i was like you know what i was like how much for all four yeah you don't even really have time to smoke what time is it 10 40. We can smoke. I guess, as long as I leave here by 11, home by 11.15. Let me go roll up real quick, because if you roll up, you won't even be smoking by 11. Yeah, fuck. I'm here annoyed ass. This is just to see what's up. You know? Ooh, the appraisal? Yeah, I'm like, ain't no appraisal. I'm like, this is his homeboy. They're like, let's just go see what this dude's up to. Let's see what he's doing in the house. That's what I think. Maybe. I had to go clean all this shit. I don't like any kind of feeling that I have like a responsibility. I know. Because of someone else. It makes me feel like my mom's coming home from the movies with her friends and I've just been eating cookies all night. <laughs> I feel that. The couch. They're just like all over my chest. She like pulls up and I'm like, fuck! Don't get into this, 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 and it's all out on the counter. Like, God damn it! Yeah. Scruff sent me some fucking slides. Because they didn't fit me, I guess. I'm gonna keep the tags on them. Nice. Because the other night in LA, someone hit on my ex. Did I tell you this? No. Someone hit on Alex at a bar in LA, and they said that they knew me. Somehow something came up, and they knew me. He told them that he used to be used to be a plug for me, and used to get me shit. His name was like Nick, and I was like, I don't have any plugs named Nick, that's for sure. Tried to like put her, his hand on her leg and put his arm around her and shit, and she like stood up and left, and I was like, what the fuck? He had on the new black Yeezys, and they still had the tags on them. Why'd you wear the 500s with tags on them? They're, yeah. they're not reselling for nothing. Like, wow. You're gonna hit on my chick or ex chick or whatever. You might want to bring your fucking AAA yeah. game. So yeah. I'm not gonna be able to do it with a Pink Floyd shirt on. And how hard it is to get exclusive shoes. That's amazing. She used to date me, homie. It's pretty funny. I was gonna tweet. If they're one of your resellers got denied by my ex last night, you're gonna try a lot harder than that. I didn't. Right. Yeah, let's smoke this and I'll go. God damn, I feel so rough. Do I rush? Hi, big man. So I'm, I want to go out and just like walk around LA, but you know LA, everybody's like fucking want to be famous. So I'm gonna just walk up and be like, "How you doing? I'm an internet celebrity. I just I want to ask. You. I'm gonna really." People in LA that do that though too. Yeah. Introduce themselves as an internet celebrity. Mm. I'm gonna take lunch break in Mexico. That'll be my goal. I'll leave. All right, I'm out. I got a camera. That's all. Got memory charged. card. I charge it, and I got memory cards at home. All That's right. It. Godspeed. Godspeed. See you next time. I'm out. <laughs> You're in the mud, dude.
getting hot already. So I got a couple of hours before I'm interrupted by the landlord. And I gotta lay out labels. So I have my own tea coming, which I'm calling Ted Tea. And this is the actual, uh, these are the sketches. I did these labels, but that's the, like the original sketch. Uh, the actual logo looks like that. Now I have to do the front label, include all the information. So FDA certified organic. Make sure we include legally everything. So I gotta do that today. You know, sourcing garments and the shit that we use. We use, everybody's always asked, what are the best garments to use to print on? And how do I start a clothing brand? And this, that, and the third. And really, there are no best garments to print on. It depends on what you're going for. A lot of times things change up, like even people who make blanks or finding obscure blanks or different stuff, you'll face all kinds of challenges, like run not having a full size run, people changing the cut of their shirts, inconsistencies, insured uh, just all kinds of stuff so there is no best company and then you have the fact that gildan we all hate gildan well, I, I just like gildan regular gildan branded t-shirts but dude but gildan is the biggest company like in the world as far as shirts go and now they're buying everybody up but there's still like a lot of just issues just trying to get everything people keep getting acquired da, 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 da. so today a big portion of my day is which is not really that like it's fun for me because i get to pick a lot of stuff out not really anything i can vlog necessarily in detail because i'm literally putting the entire drop together what i'll do is i'll print out all my designs i'll print out all my color splotches that i want to use kind of piece everything together put everything in photoshop make the mock drop send that off make sure that i can get the numbers that I need to get and then carry forward. And the stickers have been ordered as well because I'm dropping a 10. First sticker pack is the 10 piece color sticker pack. A color die cut sticker. So it's like um, skateboard sticker type. Like full color, clear sticker with a full color graph. And that should be with this drop. And then we have just at least one thing from each brand. There's a few. Ted has one. Ted has one at least. You Are Your Enemy has a couple. Rumor and Rules has a couple. AI has one. And Happy Cry has a few. So yeah. It's gonna be a good drop to it. The friends and family list is closed. Everybody is in. Thank you to all of you. It is amazing the support. It really allows us to move hopefully better way for everyone uh, and even those of you that didn't join I completely understand you know I, I thank you too because you're still getting drops as well a special thank you to the people who can see the vision super clear and want and can and help shout out to scruff for the slides and the gift to ball even though it has a swoosh on the back but still shout out to scruff scruff dog millionaire dog what's up with you you want to go outside Look at Omar's tail. So if you have a bulldog, you know this, but they have like tail pocket. And Omar has been having some tail issues to order a bunch of stuff off Amazon for him. As well as a new harness, cause he's getting fucking big and his harness doesn't fit anymore. It won't even like buckle. Landlord, he's actually chill. I didn't even know that wasn't my landlord. So there's that. Somebody's got some tennis shoes. Yeah, there's a, size are they? a 13. Yeah. Oh, they're my size. Oh, nice. You're in a good spot. <laughs> yeah. But that's just what's left and what I like have to have. So, quite a sold 100 and you still have those left. Yeah, there's probably still 200 in wow. there. Yeah, it's, it's a problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's fun. It's a good time. Omar, leave him alone. He has nothing for you. He's nothing for you, sir. Spoiled. I know. You think everybody's here for you? All around. Wanna go all around? Uh huh? What? 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 Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Get out. You better go on. You better go fuck on. Hey. Take your ass outside, boy. It's so crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. That's why you're painting so hard. It's fucking hot. You might as well.
That's enough. One more, okay? And then we're going in. Whew! My God. Yeah, if you don't know, Bulldogs, amongst all of their issues, like his tail, wrinkles, and skin, and allergies, and all that jazz, heat is the biggest thing. Anywhere from 90 to 100 degrees, and honestly, once it's over like 80, it's pretty much scary. I've had friends, Bulldogs, just straight up die on a walk. It's just like 85 degrees outside. So yeah, when it's hot outside, you gotta be really careful with him. That's why he's so crazy right now. During the day, he can't really go on walks unless it's super early in the morning. And today he did not get one because um, he doesn't get to go on a walk until the sun goes down. Really, he doesn't get to walk till like almost eight or nine o'clock. Too damn hot. They can't breathe. And when they can't breathe, the parts that make them so cute, their big old head with the wrinkles make them not be able to breathe. And their little tiny tracheas. And once that fills up with phlegm, they cannot breathe at all. And then they'll suffocate. So, you gotta stay inside. So, all right, back to work for me. <laughs> I'm in general admission. Yeah, I gotta talk by them on a plane. Flex them, flex them on the plane. I'm gonna just talk like this. Yeah, I got the resale up on this joint. Fog and everything though, guys. I got the camera. Actually, I just I just put the camera in the seat. I'm gonna actually zip it in my pocket so I don't get out of the case I'm a little harder. That camera ends up here for good, so Tripod is a drink can right now because I don't want to put the tripod up. The day is winding down uh, for me. I have so much to do and I need to start editing. Also, a uh, couple of things. So Saturday we had our first podcast. I was not able to set up the mixer that morning. I just got frustrated. So we did it with one mic. I'm going to get that set up this week, figure out all of the mechanics of that and get it kind of just situated so that uh, next week podcast or this week's podcast, I don't even know how we're going to do because Ern's not here. We'll have two mics, which doesn't matter because there won't be two people so this is all fairly fucking pointless uh, well, oh there's the uh, shoes uh, as far as some shoes that are coming out so some people think that I said I wasn't ever gonna talk about shoes again it's not what I said I'm just not gonna review every shoe that comes out or race to do it or uh you know, I don't know, like back in the day, you know, when I started doing this, no one was really reviewing those shoes. Like, like that just didn't really happen. So I did it and now everyone review. And I'm not saying everyone's copying me. I'm just saying there's just more interest. There's no point in me reviewing every single shoe. I can give you my insights, the things that I do like when I feel like doing it, which today is one of those days. As far as shoes that have come out, the Pharrell's both pairs, uh, they didn't go up to a 13 for whatever reason. Did I did get both colors in a 12 and a half, didn't get them off Adidas. I will just wait, let the package get here, we'll tell you what happens. But I'm pretty sure they're on the way. I hope they're on the way. But I'm almost positive they are. There's a bunch of shit coming out. Like last week I kind of went in on some of the stuff. I don't like the stuff that Adidas has tried to hype up, like pods and all this other shit that they've done. That they've done these weird marketing, the derup. The things they've done, the weird marketing campaigns around, I have not enjoyed. The stuff that has, in some sense, flown under the radar, at least so far, not really being like hyped up, I do like. So there's that new NMD that just leaked, like the marble. That shit looks really cool to me. I think it's really nice. Kind of reminds me of a nice kicks, not in enough way that I'm like, oh, they're just doing it. It just, it looks cool. Um, there's a NMD STLT that's coming that I saw that I fucking think is super sick. And the sole of that shoe looks like it belongs on the nice kicks. There's a few STLTs sitting right now that I'm probably going to grab, honestly. Like the parlay one, there's, there's a bunch. Oh shit, Kim Kardashian revealed the fucking see-through Yeezys. Oh, no, 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 no. Y'all can't be on this shit. No, 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 no. Yeezys are dead, y'all. Don't fucking, don't even fucking start. I'm already gonna look on Twitter and see which one of these fuck. No, well, anyway, I guess there's some new Yeezys that have leaked via Kim Kardashian. So get ready to do that all over the place, everywhere. Every sneaker blog in the world is gonna talk about it. This article, due in large part to the decreased success of the NMD line, Adidas has found itself experimenting with the silhouette now more than ever. That's pretty Pretty funny. <laughs> Decrease success. <laughs> Define success. Um, pro fears, I don't care. Basketball, pod, pod, not shit else really. Oh no, these so these new NMDs that have the the fucking three stripes kind of like I don't know what you'd call that. It looks like is it embossed? 
onto the side where there's no stripe taping. I don't like those. I'm not a fan of that, the way it puffs up like that. I liked it on the I'm on my year, but I don't love this for whatever reason. Yeah, they keep doing it. The Energy Ink, all these have that shit on it. People ask me about the Young One. I like it, it's okay, it's not my favorite, but it's honestly doesn't have the features that this shoe has, which is really probably why I'm not interested in it because it's kinda just not. That shoe looks like, it looks like to me that Kanye saw the Young One took pieces of it for this shoe and he took pieces of it for the 700 because there's definitely like wave runner vibes on it too it's interesting and that is what it is it's no shade art is all about you know art is referenced so i get it i have no problem with that a lot of people think art is innovation and it really is not usually that's another conversation um i'm not a huge fan of it i like the way it looks but i'd probably not ever get it which is gonna lead me into talking about this shoe because i think i've covered everything else we're gonna talk. I'm gonna change this battery real quick though. This is about to die. Dude. Every day. Every day. It's too hot for this, man. It is too hot. Come inside. Come on. This box, too. So, one thing. I reviewed the 500 when I got it because. You know, like my entire um, introduction to people was because I, you know, via this via this via via what this channel whatever uh was boost and shoes and shit like that so a lot of people when i don't wear a shoe that has boost which is really not that fucking often at all some people literally lose their minds i don't know what it is i don't know if it's like they're trying to catch me in a lie or pretend that because they met me on like one certain day where I was like this is everything that I can't change my mind or whatever whatever but anyway I haven't changed my mind I still think that boost is the most comfortable sole on any shoe that you could possibly get um, but I will say as I said in the last video about these shoes that I am thoroughly impressed and I'm thoroughly surprised at how comfortable the upper on this shoe is kind of amazing how I mean it's just it's just fucking comfortable like I'm all about comfort so this colorway crushes the other two colorways I mean the tonal blacks on this are really really nice really like the nicest thing or one of the most appreciated things by me that Kanye is doing is the colors so the colors of these things are all tonal they're a little off like the butter colorway is like it's not exactly butter you know and I can tell you that because trying to match a shirt to go with it has been a pain in the fucking dick black is not black by any means. It's definitely just more gray. Normally these aren't the type of materials that I enjoy. Like this is an older style. Like this has got more of a skate shoe style to it, especially as far as the upper goes, just with a bunch of premium materials and then layers. There's just tons and tons of layers, which I enjoy. I think that we're already starting to kind of go crazy with it. Well, I'd like to see where it all goes, but some of the paneling, you know, is gonna get crazy but there's also only so much you can do with the shoe but yes the upper for the shoe is insanely comfortable the coloring of the shoe is really good it really looks great with fucking everything pretty much this shoe for me is not an all-day shoe i wore it really for two days i wore it all weekend just to give it another shot because some people lose their minds um it's still not as comfortable as boost the upper is just like being in a, in a fucking shoe couch but there's still like after standing up for a long time you're still not gonna feel uh, there's just no response and there's also not a lot of cushioning it helps it's stiff not uncomfortable but at some point my foot does fatigue where it doesn't in boost that's just all that there is to it um, but a thing that i like about this being utility black and the different colors and the fact that the suede isn't like a it's really nice suede it's tumbled and this is a shoe that i feel like you can just fuck up you know i feel like this is a shoe that you can get dirty and it cleans up well these had mud on them yesterday from being outside with omar there's still mud on the bottom of them they cleaned up really quickly well and the suede's already so tumbled up that it doesn't you don't really even notice it for a long time for you know the last couple of years most shoes i mean i wear this shit out of my shoes and i don't really worry about it but this is a shoe that you could actually like live your life in and fuck up and the fact that resale is nothing non-existent there's still pairs available i think is cool i think there's really no issue with that because i've never ever operated off of this isn't available fuck all of you blah 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 blah, blah, blah. i have it that's not the point it doesn't push the culture forward at all like for a non-boost shoe it's a great shoe does that mean that 
I want to wear other shoes that are not Boost because they're just another brand. No, it does not. It's really just about appreciation watching an artist do something. You know what I mean? It's like if I go to a restaurant because I really like the head chef and I'll order something that I've never had and I'm like, damn, that was fire. doesn't mean that I'm going to order that elsewhere you know it means that i appreciate that chef but one thing that i in my mind and i think that kind of a conspiracy i guess in my mind is you know this introduction coming out along with byw I have a byw right here are walking us down the hallway of this shape of shoe you know more of the bulbous pod which as we've discussed the feet you wear technology brought into the future right now the present but one thing that would interest me which i'm sure the byw low i know there's different photos out but i think there's probably probably something that's going to be done that has this type of upper with boost on it and that may be why there's middle of the road stuff if they just took the boost put it where the Audi preen is and then kept everything else exactly the same you know these are very similar soles you know the sole is so similar the only real difference is that separation in the forefoot but they're the real and you know the tread obviously but really a lot of similarities so I do think that it would be cool to see what that felt like with just you know maybe boost all around here Audi plus I guess they would have to do something different for the plus they respond differently but, but yeah that's my thoughts on it I, I do like the shoe I do like the way that it looks on feet and the color the color is great um, a box showed up while we were doing this Teddy hello Teddy Thanks for helping us out with this. Looking forward to seeing how NYC themed tattooed. All right, cool. So what, so Canary, shout out to Sean and Canary. He's the man. Uh, he's been hooking me up like since the early days of the channel. And actually I use the shit out of, these are the cameras that I use, how I keep everything secure. Um, I have a security system as well. And I have, uh, you know, things in place. But these cameras are super clutch for all kinds of stuff. This weekend, I actually did a flash sale where you have to buy like the cameras and then you pay for a membership for extra stuff. You don't have to have the membership to use the service or your phone, but extra shit like talking through it and saving bigger clips and just all kinds of different stuff. You have to pay for like a yearly membership. It's like a hundred bucks a year. But yesterday they were doing a thing where if you bought the membership, which I didn't have, you got another free camera. So I just went ahead and bought a membership yesterday because obviously I used a shit of it. And I knew that this was about to happen, so they hooked it up. Got quite a few flex. Some black one, white one, black one, another white one. So quite a few cameras here. And the reason for some of these, these are some of these are for me. We may end up giving one away to someone here as well. To see what happens. Got to get through the process but with these white ones and i don't know how much i'm really supposed to say but it doesn't say don't say anything so hopefully it's all good but i'm just gonna do some testing on this to look and see if and how and what if you could paint on these basically i'm basically gonna do like an artist version where i like paint on it draw on it figure out what sort of uh medium to use on it and create some sort of artistic representation of new york city but yeah that's pretty much it that's pretty much the goal so they hooked it up man thanks shout out to canary you guys have hooked it up since the beginning i've watched my sneaker room from my phone in other countries i've watched omar i've watched doobie rest in peace canary i really do fuck with so uh it's awesome i really love when i fuck with companies and they reach out and it's mutually like yeah i fuck with you all right cool um that's pretty much it that's the day i'm gonna get out of here see you tomorrow i'm looking forward to seeing where the fuck earn is tomorrow and how his week goes because it sounds like it's gonna be crazy we'll see but all right that's the day love y'all